Hi guys, DD Berman here with another quick little video on Lightweight 3D. This time we're going to talk about the very exciting and amazing uh, settings for defaults. <laughs> Typically when I, I start Lightwave up, it looks like this. I'm looking through the camera and I'm getting this almost square rectangle here and that's because my default setting is 640 by 480 on the camera. And say, I don't usually work at 640 by 480. I almost always work at uh, you know either 1080 or, or 720p. So it's kind of a bummer to have to come in here and change it every time. Plus if I'm doing um, some kind of like... Uh, bullet simula simulation or particles or something, you know, 120 frames is not really enough time to really see things getting going. You kind of want to pump that up to the third, you know, 300. And also, if I hit the O key for options, you know, you can see my frames per second is 30, and maybe I'm always working in 20 frames per second. Well, we can change all these things so that they're always set up for us. So let's do that now. We'll just change our frames per second to 24, and we'll start there. And if I clear the scene, you'll see, if I go back to the options, oh, and by the way, that is under edit, oh, general options right there. So, yeah, basically all you have to do is just change the preferences here, and that sticks. When you restart Lightwave, there it is, it's always there. It, if I change this back to 30 and clear the scene, it'll be 30 frames per second. Even if I exit the program and come back in, it'll be 30 frames per second. All right, but I'm gonna leave it so it'll always be 24 frames per second. Now about the camera always changing resolution. Let's go over to the default tab or DEF tab, the DEF tab. Now we can change our default scene length to say 300, like I, I talked about before. We also have the, the default frame size. I'll change that to 720, and we can change the default camera type and you know the backplane and all that stuff. Even change uh, what is selected when we first start up Lightwave. So now that I've set that, let me clear the scene. And hey look, I have the proper aspect ratio and if I open up the camera properties you can see I indeed have HDTV 1280 by 720 as my camera resolution. But let's say we want a little more control. We have this scene here and we always want to start with a instead of a distant light let me open the properties for the lights. Instead of a distant light, I want to have a dome light all the time, and I'll set this back to the angle to 3%. This gives us something that behaves like a distant light, but actually has some soft shadows on it, so that's why you might want to do this setting. Um, but if I restart the scene, or clear the scene, uh, and I switch to the camera, you can see, hey, or the perspective, you can see it, it didn't keep that change. Well we can make it keep that change. If we come over here and let's just change it again, dome. There you go. And now if I come over to file, save, we actually have a save scene as default. There's something else we need to do, but that we save the scene as default. Now if I hit shift N to clear the scene, you can see, hey, we're back to the, the same setting. We're looking through our camera, and the light is the same light. Uh, however, if I open my options again, O for options, if I look down here, we have a clear scene to default. If I click on that and close the window, now when I clear the scene, it actually is bringing that light. Now you didn't even actually see it clear. So let me go through the menu, clear scene. There it is. I guess because I hadn't changed anything, I didn't get the dialog box. There, I moved the perspective. <laughs> okay, so we have our light set up the way we want. Eh, actually, I want it to point in this other direction. We could, you know, set up backgrounds and stuff as well. Ooh, talking of, speaking about backgrounds, I, I think I've mentioned this in another video. Let me open up Windows, Backdrop Options, uh... Yeah, backdrop, textured environment, double click on it. Now if I hit F8 to bring up our uh, presets, we actually have some preset backgrounds that come with Lightwave that easy to miss. Texas Sunset, there we go. Now I switch to the VPR, and hey, look at that. Now I don't think VPR will, will remain on when I reset the scene, clear the scene, but there we go. You can see we have a background and stuff. 
now I will do that save default again save scene as default and now since our clear scene to default is up I can even remove that background and point the light in the other direction blah 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 turn VPR off not that, that matters anyway now when I clear the scene clear and I turn VPR on we should see yep there's our scene now you notice up here in the top window it says default dot LWS if I hit s it'll just save default LWS and this is actually saving an actual scene file in whatever you have set for your content directory so let me uh, open that up Let's load scene and there, there's our default scene it's set up in our in our test folder if I come in here and I change my paths so that my content directory is something else like links which has no lightweight files in it at all and I clear the scene you notice it all goes away and we're back to looking through the camera instead of in the perspective and I, if I switch to the perspective you'll see we have our default light the default scene f cares very much about what you have set for your uh, content directory um, one other thing I want to mention um, auto save is probably a good thing to turn on it has saved uh, a pretty good amount of work for me from time to time and uh, this just controls what options we get when we hit save so uh, that'll be it I'll, I'll end it there there's a few options you can set to make you're just getting into using lightwave a little faster um, check out my videos uh, at liberty3d.com that I have for sale and uh, if you like this subscribe to the channel like the video um, whatever you want <laughs> I try to put a video up every once in a while used to be every week now it's every once in a while so uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something have a great day or night whatever <laughs>